Welcome to your evening on Spectrum News One. My name is Armit Singh. We're going to be in the show tonight with a new House Speaker after weeks. It has happened. Every member of the Republican majority voting for a Congress member, Mike Johnson of Louisiana, ending three weeks of paralysis in the House while the Republican conference struggled to agree on someone for the top job. Johnson's first act as Speaker is putting a resolution on the House floor to condemn Hamas's attack of Israel. Democrats have been quick to criticize Johnson for his conservative views and his efforts to overturn Joe Biden's victory in the 2020 election. Washington correspondent Cassie Simeon joins us from the Hill tonight. Cassie, just let us know how the members of the of Congress from California are reacting to Johnson's election. Well, California's entire Republican delegation rallied behind Mike Johnson, as they have done throughout this entire process, coalescing behind whoever the nominee is when it comes to a floor vote. But Democrats are already sounding the alarm, raising concerns that Johnson won't be able to work across the aisle in a bipartisan fashion. Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson claimed the gavel as House Speaker Wednesday after three weeks of brutal infighting among Republicans. Johnson united every Republican faction behind his candidacy, something the party's three other Speaker nominees failed to do. The challenge before us is great, but the time for action is now. Republicans say they're eager to get back to work. We've got to keep the government open. We've got to have America playing its geopolitical role in the world. Um, it, it's just great to have our government functioning again. It's great to have the House with a new speaker and uh, moving forward from here. Johnson is a relatively unknown politician in a town full of established commodities. But Democrats say they are familiar with his conservative views and are bracing for policy fights. He helped found, found the Alliance Defense Fund, uh, which has been labeled an LGBTQ hate group. Um, so this gives me an indication of the kinds of fights that we are going to have to endure uh, until 2024. I'm glad that we're going to be working again, but the bills that are going to come before us are going to be really tough and probably very draconian. Uh, somebody said he was like Jim Jordan with a sport coat, and uh, we'll have to wait and see to see uh, if that's in fact the case. I hope not, but uh, his track record does not look very encouraging. And Amrith, as you mentioned, Johnson's first order of business was getting a resolution in support of Israel passed. Now the real work begins. He has to get 12 appropriation bills passed through the House to keep the government funded past that November 17th deadline. The goal is to have them debate the bill tonight and get the energy and water bill onto the House floor for a vote as early as tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, Cassie. A lot of big and important work to do there in the House. A lot of backlog as well.